Listen, listen, check it out now. Coronavirus, this coronavirus, that fuck all of that, okay? Now, y'all finally got y'all boy academics back with y'all because I'm stuck in the crib. I'm bunkered down, which means I ain't got nothing to do but do YouTube videos, play Fortnite, watch Narcos, beat off, watch Pornhub, and just talk shit. Now, if y'all ain't know, the baby smacked earth, wind, fire, and maybe even water out of the goddamn mouth of a fan who decided they could get too close. Apparently, she was trying to take a little video for the gram, but of course, she was too close. Way too close. She hit him in the face with her phone, and he reacted instinctively. Slapped the taste out of her filthy mouth. Now, of course, it wasn't going to go away just like that. And by the way, you could tell that something else was going to come because he hopped on Instagram to apologize. He then offered to fly her out. And then, of course, in true the baby fashion, he tried to make a skit of it. Okay? Him and Michael Blackson. However, the chick is coming out now to say, oh, you think I was just going to meet up with you and take a picture and get some backstage tickets and it was going to be cool that you slapped me and turned into promo? Now, keep in mind, the baby has turned almost... All violent altercations into promo. Whether it was a near violent altercation in Atlanta when he was filming a video and people tried to press him, that was promo. Whether he clapped a nigga in Walmart, that was promo. Whether he beat a nigga up in Louis Vuitton, that was promo. Whether he did any fucking thing where he had to put hands or his security had to put hands on people, it's been promo. So, of course, it's natural that he was going to use this situation where he slapped even a young woman as promo. Now, the chick is basically saying, fuck what you were trying to do. I'm here for the bag. Now, the girl did an interview with TMZ, and basically she's saying, fuck all of that, man. I had a cheek contusion. Listen, man, I had a upset belly. I had a fucking diarrhea. I got a motherfucking, like, a uh, concussion. I had amnesia. I had a coronavirus. I had motherfucking everything in the book, okay? Now, I need me a check. All right, and that's pretty much what she's saying. She's retained a lawyer. She's speaking. She wants it to be known that the baby slapped the fire out of her, and now she want to get paid. Now, the baby's attorneys, they know they can't deny that he slapped somebody because it's on video. And this is the crazy thing I be telling y'all about the baby. Like, most of it's just on video. It's on video. They can't deny he ain't slapped nobody. But here's their thing. They're saying, oh, he definitely slapped somebody, but it wasn't her. Now, again, whether it was her or not, if she got hospital receipts and other things that might corroborate her being the person who got slapped that night, I will say the baby's going to have to cut a check. And, you know, maybe it all just, like, evens out because, to be honest, this is probably a million dollars worth of promo, whether good or bad. Like, people are, again, talking about the baby, and it's not for a song. It's for a slap. It's for some physical altercation. Maybe it's worth, maybe, I don't know, 200000 he might have to pay to this chick, or maybe 100000 but I do think it's probably money well spent. And I ain't gonna lie, it's a weird situation with the baby because, n number one, I don't think he's faking. I don't think he's doing it for the cameras. I do think he has very bad habits from the hood that he's not getting out of because it's been paying off in terms of the industry. But he's been able to turn every L into promo. I can't even say that's nothing wrong with it. What do y'all think about this? And by the way, Shorty, you should probably learn in the future, I don't care how much you like an entertainer, especially a nigga like the baby, be careful how you're trying to film them, okay? When you hit somebody in the face, and I see a lot of people mention, but she's a woman! Hey, listen, man. When you're walking through a darkly lit club and somebody hits you, Reflex says, I don't give a fuck who it is. They're getting hit back. Okay, so I'm going to throw that out the window, but I do think the baby has to move better in situations that concerns fans. Or else, he got to have a lawsuit budget, and that lawsuit budget could be costly. Get in the comments, please, guys, like and subscribe to more What do you guys think about this? Do you rock with the baby, or do you think the fan is right for securing the bag? It's more academics, let me know. I'm up. Keep in mind, I couldn't see you because you got the flash this close to me, which is okay. It's no problem. A lot of people did. They didn't put it as close as you put it. But a lot of people had flash on me, and that's okay. You know, that's that's what I sign up for. That's the risk I take when coming to, you know, put on the show for my fans. You know, it's, 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 it's dangerous. You know, I'm blindsided. Cool. Fuck it. I'm with it. But out of all them fans, you know, how many people knew how to zoom in? Just zoom in. It's that popping me in my motherfucking eye with the phone. So I do apologize. It was a female on the other end, but man, I think by this time, you know, it's a well-known fact that like, 
male or female, I would have responded the same exact way. You know what I mean? Of course, I had security with me the club. They had they, they security and shit. But with me, like, I make security, treat fans with respect. I don't like all that rah rah shit that coming through. Move, watch out, watch out, watch out, knocking people out balance. Nah, you people paid to be here. You know, we gotta respect them when we move through. You know what I mean? I just wish you would have gave me the same respect in return. You did not give me the same respect in return, baby. All you had to do is zoom in. Just zoom in. Ain't that easy. You can zoom in close enough to see a pimple on my face. You ain't do that. And I already can't see you. Then you, mm. Come on, baby. Why you, why you do that? I apologize that it went the way it went. You know, but I just wish that, that you could have respected me the way I would have respected you. And I still got love for you. I love it. You can get, you can get fluid out. I'll fly you out. You know, we can sit down. We can have an adult conversation. I would love to apologize to you in person. I can apologize publicly. If you don't prefer that, I can apologize privately. I got no problem with apologizing to you. My main thing is just bringing more awareness to shit like this to just keep it from happening in the future. Male or female, you know, let's just try to, you know, conduct ourselves with respect, respect others, and expect nothing less than respect in return because that's what you deserve. You deserve to be respected. See what I'm saying? You and me both. So, you know, let's just try to move gracefully, man, and, and keep in mind that a lot of actions, really every action, you know, has an equal or greater reaction. And that's just the way the world go. I would love to make the situation better any way I can. Feel free to reach out. If that ain't what you prefer to do, that's cool. Whatever, it get worked out, it get worked out. You know, God got me and he got you too. So don't you trip. You're going to be just fine. You're going to be just fine. Gonna be just fine. And there's a lot of people hitting me, acting like they you. But it's, it's too many of y'all. And remember, I still don't know what you look like because you had that phone in my face. So I don't know how to confirm who you is. The only way I'm going to know how to do that is if, you know, you had them people. Hit my people, you know. But I love to make the situation better, you know, whoever you is. And remember... God got you. He got me too. I don't think you don't got me. God got you and me both, and you deserve respect. So respect others at all times. Please, just respect others. And I'm pretty sure that's what you're going to get in return. Love you, all my female fans. I love y'all too. Y'all be good. I'm going to take a nap.